Hello, welcome to Touchline at the end of a momentous week. Crusaders dramatically pulling out of the race for a place in Super League after gaps were found in their financial plans. Those standards you know, are, are demanding and we shouldn't apologise for that. And certainly in our review of that uh, application from Crusaders, you know, there were issues that needed attention. Those discussions were ongoing and at the end of the day I think the, the owners of the Crusaders thought that, that really that, they, that the, the expectations would be on them, certainly as, as, as the current owners. To be fair to the game and to the clubs involved, for us to take a place um, in Super League that we may not be able to uh, carry on through the three years ahead would be unfair and uh, it's been exciting um, we've had some great games here but uh, at the end of the day we don't feel that we can carry on. So huge disappointment in Wales meant relief in Wakefield and Castleford. Uh, you know there was a lot of anxiety even though sort of a quiet confidence throughout the club that they'd done everything and worked hard as possible. And I'm really chuffed as well for young players like Jimmy Davey, Matty Wildey, Russ Space, Chris Anak, you know, committed themselves to this club regardless of which division they were playing in. Well I, I'm really pleased that, you know, I feel the due diligence has been carried out, the correct decisions have been made and they'll have the opportunity to apply their ways in, in Super League. Well away from the week's big story and away from Rugby League because Warrington's Paul Wood spends much of his time down at the dojo doing judo but he sometimes forgets which game he's playing. So I was stood at one end of the mat and uh, this guy Steve was stood at the other end of the mat and they put a yellow belt halfway and the first person to grab the yellow belt had to take it back to their side and he grabbed it first and he ran at me and it was basically a rugby drill it wasn't really a judo <laughs> drill and as he ran at me I tackled him and he broke his leg and uh, I was devastated and uh, it was a black belt at judo and I thought <laughs> Six weeks when he comes back, he's gonna he's gonna really kick my bum. Well, the risk of injury should be minimised if you're playing touch rugby, but don't try anything physical with Jenny Haraki. The wife of Leeds forward Wella Haraki took part in a touch tournament involving some of the rhinos, and she was never going to come out second best. We all play like in Australia and New Zealand and that and we get the chance to play with each other there but um, it's always good just to see um, strength in the um, partnership bond I suppose within, <laughs> within the relationship tested out on the field so it's really good. For more on all of these stories search online for SLTV. Bye for now.